So we're out here today, me and Miss Ryan. Hi. Well, this is our uh, going to be our first flight. She's never well, not our first flight. I take that back. But the first flight in a new airplane. Watch down how you are, right? You excited? Yes, very excited. Be kind of cool. So we're gonna head out and basically, I don't know where we're gonna head to yet. Uh, depending on whether the weather is, whether we head up over the mountain, the Highway 33, or whether we uh, whether we head up to. Uh, up the coast or nowhere. Uh, she's going to be doing the recording. What are we doing, right? Free flight? Yes. Which we already added some fuel, right? Yeah. So we're just going to go around, check out the airplane, make sure everything's all good for our flight. I don't know. I don't even know what's nearby and where we could go. What would you like to see? How far can we go? Well, uh, that would probably for two hours. Okay. Not saying you have to go that long. We'll figure out how hot it's going to be. Can we tell you about this airplane a little bit? Sure. Okay, so these are my rudder pedals. I have some up there. You have some. Your feet stand here. Keep clear of these cables, right? Mm -hmm. Just because that's what controls my rudder. And like I said, as I move the stick, the stick's gonna move around in between your legs. Okay. So just don't don't hold on to it. This button is what you use to communicate. Won't be doing that. I put a little cup holder and cell phone holder in there for Linda. Your headsets are up here. This will plug into the side of the GoPro so we can catch us talking. Um, all my stuff's pretty much up here. Uh, if I ask you to do anything, just so you know, these red ones don't touch. These are lights, so these are strobes and navigation is what we'll use them. We won't be using a landing light today. Um, so if I ask you to turn on the lights, you'll be turning on the strobes and the nav lights. Okay. Uh, well, like, what are the lights for? Like if it's like nighttime? No, they're positioning lights. So they're just like blinking lights. Oh. Like go out to the end of the wing, take the camera out to the end of the wing. And Oh yeah. Okay. Santa Paula traffic, yellow decathlon is departing runway 22 for a straight out departure, Santa Paula. Santa Paula traffic says a 739 right front row, left constant, runway 22. Santa Paula traffic, says a 704 Sierra Lima, left base 22. Uh, traffic, Bravo, left Bravo, left and away we go. What's over these mountains? Over which way? Over there. In front of us. Like that town over there? Yeah. That's all high. Oh. Uh, is Bakersfield in front of us or something? Bakersfield's over there, like right where those white clouds are. Oh yeah. This coming up over here on the left is like the backside of uh. It like cuts in uh, like San Inez is out over that way. So this cuts in like if you keep going straight, you'll be hitting like Paso Robles and stuff like that. Okay. You got like Lockwood Valley. That's Lockwood Valley going up into that way. Big ship into Gorman. Oh yeah. Are we coming up like near the Grapevine or the Grapevine's over there? Grapevine's right there. We already went over it. Oh. That's what we just went over, just a different part of the Grapevine. Okay. Anytime you get like mountain peaks like that, it stirs up the, the wind, so uh, kind of... Yeah, because air travels up. Yeah, it like swirls up. Yeah. Especially hot air. Yeah. 
usually worse at the end of the day. It's better to fly in the morning. Yeah. Are we still over by Ventura? Or somewhere else? Ventura's right over there. Then you got Oxnard, Port Wainimi, Camarillo. Santa Paula's over there. We're over Ojai. Okay. So right at that ocean line out there, that's, that's Ventura. Thing is, is I don't have ADSB and, and a lot of traffic flies out there, so you see how I can see that guy? That little triangle? Yeah. I can't see that. But, all right, he can't see that with me. Oh. Uh, you know, so when you have ADSB, it's a lot better to fly in more congested areas, so until I can get it installed, um, I just kind of stay out of the area. It's not that we're doing illegal flying, it's just safer to have ADSB. I'm just waiting to get into the avionics shop. Uh oh. I'm not gonna have it installed. I already bought it, I'm just waiting for the, the radios to come in and then get a date for it to install. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for you. I'm north of the 126, coming up on Fillmore at uh, 3,700. Okay, and what's your plan? I'm just following the ridge line up to Piru, going to fly over Lake Piru. Okay, if you stay on the north side, we'll stay on the south side. Shouldn't be a problem. Will do. So she should be just south of Fillmore. She should be flying out there. Almost at our same level. You see a red and white Cessna out there? No. Oh. On the other side of the 126. Is it low to the ground? No, oh, she's... Like 3,300 feet, she's maybe like 500 feet below us. No, I don't. I don't mean to. Oh, I can see her right there, so she's got to be right off our wing tip. She's, uh, oh, she's 2,000 feet below us. Out there someplace, flying. See those roads over there? That's the road going up over the grapevine, the Highway 5. See those trucks out there? Yeah. And then isn't Six Flags over here? Yeah, I was going to tell you, you can see it right over there. See the orange tower? I was going to take you out that way. Oh, so yeah, you can see I can see it. Bruce's house has an airport hangar. He owns that whole valley with all those houses and stuff, and all those avocado trees. Uh-huh. Santa Paula traffic, uh, Yellow Decathlon is turning crosswind at Peck Road, Santa Paula. Santa Paula traffic, Yellow Decathlon is on final runway 22, Santa Paula. Alright, so we just got back in the town, got done cleaning the plane. So Ryan, tell us a little bit about your first experience in the decathlon versus the Cessna 172. Um, the, the decathlon is way faster than the Cessna, and it's way um, smoother than the Cessna, I would say. Well maneuverable? Yeah. To me, a lot funner ever an airplane to fly, that's for sure. Well, we had a great time. Uh, we flew for about an hour and a half. We tried to go over the mountains, but it was kind of bumpy. It wasn't really a fun flight. So we kind of went over Lake Piru and uh, a little bit over uh, towards Simi Valley so you can see the town we were living in. And then uh, kind of just went from there. Um, a good, successful flight. And then, uh, as you can see, uh, airplane's nice and tucked away into the hangar. And we'll see you uh, next time. <laughs>